So welcome everyone. Um, now I'm attempting to repair this very strange uh, C64 fault. You see the machine just frees it during uh, uh, the usual test program that uh, I run uh, when I try to understand what's wrong in a C64. And if I hit the reset button, the test restarts and uh, it will uh, um, freeze the machine on the same uh, point uh, of the test. So uh, I need to understand uh, what's wrong with this machine. Uh, troubleshooting a, a fault like this is not easy. Um, also I noticed that I could run uh, almost every game uh, for hours without uh, having any problem on this 64. Uh, so one uh, one time I just noticed that uh, when starting the morning uh, uh, with a cold machine I could load the program and it would go around without uh, freezing in this exact position a few times then on the third or fourth time it would freeze uh, so the problem is uh, temperature sensitive and this helped greatly because with the help of a compressor there can I started uh, uh, spraying uh, on uh, every <coughs> integrated circuit uh, to see if uh, <coughs> making again a cold chip could uh, solve the situation and when hitting the CPU like this then hitting the reset so the test restart and probably this time it won't fail uh, I did it many times before so let's wait and it worked it again now when the CPU gets hot again enough it will uh, crash again so it depends on the uh, very particular uh, state changes in, uh, or very particular instruction sequence because it's very hard to find uh, yeah this is another place when it's starting to uh, to getting hot, it breaks in this point. But most of the times, uh, when it's hot again, uh, it will break on the on the sprite screen. So probably the CPU is very marginal. It has a problem on a very particular set of instruction sequence, and so I'm afraid I have to to change the CPU okay I replaced the CPU uh, well actually I have added, uh, added the socket and this one is still the original CPU uh, because I want to show the difference and this is uh, the first disc of uh, the concert uh, demo so let's load one okay it's still is solidly freezes the machine no drive activity no nothing completely freezing so let's try with another CPU here we are with uh, my last spare 8500 this one is from uh, 18. Uh, uh, sorry 1985 so it's quite older than the rest of this uh, C64 which is from 1989 
as you can see from the date codes of uh, other chips and we always say the first uh, concert disc so let's load and run and the drive started and the demo too so I will enjoy this demo again until the end and the problems is uh, fixed I guess so the demo is on the last disc this demo is uh, on three discs three sides actually so one disc and a half and it's running fine it's running fine so the CPU was very marginal and uh, fortunately it was temperature sensitive so I could identify uh, it without removing uh, uh, innocent, uh, innocent chips. So I guess this uh, C64 is uh, enough good again, in perfect shape again I mean. And I have no spare uh, CPU now, but um, one day maybe I will find some uh, spare CPU if I need to fix all the C64. Uh, the CPU is not uh, very easy to fail anyway. On my collection of uh, uh, bad chips, uh, the original CPU of this uh, C64 was uh, the first one. So thank you for watching. Bye bye.